sometimes you get just bad chests. But anyway, um, yeah, let's do a first impressions of the Zacian deck. Honestly, I'm happy with that Zamazenta deck. So Zacian, let's see if you can impress me as much. Um, oops, yeah, it happens. Sometimes it's just a rubbish booster. So, Padov. Um, Chirp. Search your deck for up to two Pokemon with fighting resistance? Reveal them and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Okay, so you're basically looking for two flying type Pokemon. Interesting. I wish this was with the Corviknight. Oh wait, that's, that's Corviknight? Oh, that's Corviknight. No, Corviknight's metal type Pokemon. I'm sure it's metal type Pokemon. Regardless. Um, I'm actually, I'm doubting myself now. I like it. That chirp is pretty interesting. Uh, Tranquil, Razor Wing Gust, eh. And Pheasant, Daunt. Do you post next turn that defending Pokemon's attacks do 50 less damage? Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. Do you post next turn that defending Pokemon's attacks do 50 less damage? I wonder if your bonus still switches out. Do you post next turn that defending Pokemon's attacks do 50 less damage? I presume if they switch out, that then get rid of this effect. That's really cool though. 150 HP for this Unpheasant. Holy cow, it's tanky. And with Daunt. Oh my word. This Unpheasant's crazy. I prefer TW because of the, the interaction. That's why I asked you for it. TW? Uh, I'm having a brain fart. What do you mean by TW? I prefer D TW because of the interactions. TW. What is TW? I'm having a complete brain fart. Cure the down. What is TW? I'm having an absolute brain fart, my friend. Please help me out here. Torrential cannon? No, that's TC. What is TW? Um, nose pass. Oh, okay, nose pass. Pro pass. Gravitational drop. This stack does 30 more damage for each. Oh, sorry, 10, so 10 damage base and then 30 more damage for each energy in their retreat cost. Ah, okay. And heavy impact for 120. Honestly, I can see myself doing a gravitational drop more often. Um, Ranger's Ghost. The first attack is nice to get the whole evolution. Put in your hand on the first evolution. Uh, and put it in your first turn. These both Pokemon crazy. Yeah, 100%. If you can go second, uh, and your second turn, you just go for Chirp. So, if you're going second, and then your first turn, you can use Chirp. That's what I meant to say. That is crazy cool. Because, yeah, like you said, then second turn, you're playing Tranquil. And in theme decks, there's no way to essentially discard your opponent's hand. There's so few decks that run that. So, you're safe. And then you have Unpheasant on third turn. That is terrifying, Ranger's Ghost. Yeah, I know. 100%. I hear you there. That is a terrifying combo. Uh, this seems to be a flying-type deck. And then... Howlucha, win four, shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw five cards. Thank you, I like that. Speed attack 30. Howlucha, I like your supporter card, 100%. Um, Ranger's Ghost. Oh, Twitch. Oh my word, sorry. So to put it into perspective, I woke up two hours ago. <laughs> so if my brain is asleep, I apologize. Twitch, Ranger's Ghost. No, I'm... TW makes sense, my friend. Like I said, I'm just dense. I'm new to Twitch. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I prefer Twitch because of the interaction. That's why I asked you for it. Okay, yeah, sorry. 100%. I agree with you. I prefer Twitch as well because I can actually speak to you and chat. I really do like it. Also, I like your videos because you show the cards and what they do. And you don't play like a thousand kilometers an hour like other YouTubers. Okay, right. So, <laughs> two things. First of all, yes, I agree with you. Uh, I try and play slow and I go through all the cards. The, one of the reasons I actually started this channel was on the educational side of it. Um, not as in like I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher in real life. I don't want to be a teacher on YouTube. Um, but I like showcasing everything. And this ties into the second reason. I'm a noob. So I'm not super... I don't have super great knowledge of all the cards and all the meta and everything. So I'm still learning. So because of that, I'm going through the cards at a slower rate for me to learn them. And... I like, I like helping other players. To me, it's really, really important part of gaming. And a really big part of Twitch and YouTube is helping other players. And like, I love that community of it. So being able to go through the cards slower and like explain what I'm doing, I'm doing that on purpose because A, 
I'm new to the game, I need to think through it. As you saw in my previous game, I make a lot of mistakes. But B is because I'm trying to showcase what I'm doing so other people know what I'm doing to learn from me. Be it learning from my correct decisions or be it learning from mis my mistakes, I find that a really big part of the game. And it's something I really, really want to focus on. Um, so yeah, I'm really glad you're appreciating it. Um, it really is a main focus of me, is taking it a bit slower. I know that irritates the veterans a bit, and I'm sorry. But yeah, I'm a new player and I've actually seen from my comments a lot of people watching on newer players. And that's a, a big push behind me really going through this a bit slower. Um, so yeah, I'm really glad you appreciate that. I'm glad you pulled it out. Oh, hey, Glare and Meowth. I actually do need this card. <laughs> Home Claws. During your next turn, this Pokemon slash attack does 60 more damage. That's really cool. If you're going... This deck likes going second. This deck really likes going second. Living with a savage seafaring people has toughened this Pokemon's body um, so much that parts of it have turned to iron. I like it. Um, yeah, no, I like it. Galarian Perserker. That is such a cool artwork. <laughs> um, that is such a cool artwork, Galarian Perserka. <laughs> um, slash 50 damage and then Claw Dagger. Flip three coins. Attack the six, 80 damage for each head. Holy cow, that's cool. So knowing my luck, I'll deal 80 damage with that attack. But you can deal 240 damage if you're super lucky with Claw Dagger. I like it. What appears to be an iron helmet is actually hardened hair. This Pokemon lives for the thrill of battle. <laughs> I'm loving the Kalerian Prosoka. Um, I, I dig it. Uh, cool, 100%. I kind agree with you. Yeah, no, thanks, my friend. Um, I'm glad you're appreciating it. And Ranger's Ghost. Uh, yes, it's good going second, and the other is good going first. I think I agree with you. Like, the only part of the second, the other deck that prefers going first is to Aladon, which I guess is better support card. Yeah, I think I actually prefer with... I agree with you there. So Zamazenta prefers going first, and Zacian prefers going second. Which, if you think about it, makes sense from those Pokemon, right? Because Zamazenta is a very defensive type Pokemon. So not having the first attack makes sense thematically. And Zacian being the more offensive Pokemon, attacking first, like... Fluff wise makes sense. I like it. I like they actually pulled that into the um I like they actually pulled that into the theme decks. So I really appreciate that. Zation, let's see if you are you better than your brother or your friend. Energy stream. Attach a metal energy card from discard pile 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 <laughs> to this Pokemon. Okay, super aggressive Pokemon. And then smashing edge, flip coin, if tail, discard two energies from this Pokemon. 120 HP. Okay, so yeah, Zation again is not great. Um, it, this honestly for me feels like more of a supporter card in this deck, um, especially with things like Energy Stream. I'm happy bringing Zacian like early mid game. Actually, I guess offensively, if you play this like turn two, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm not, I'm not sold on the whole Zacian as enters yet, but I guess it's all right. Oh no, no coin attacks. <laughs> Rangers guys, I upset my friend. Yeah, so Galarian Prosoka. For those of you who don't know. I have terrible, terrible luck with coin flips. Like, terrible, terrible luck with coin flips. So Claw Dagger terrifies me, right? Which is why I said if I'm lucky, I'll get one off. Um, but for all of you out there who coin flips work with, like, with standard luck, you'll be loving this card. This card terrifies me. But hey. Um, yeah, no, 100%. Um, yeah, so let's go on to our trainer cards. So Great Ball, Metal Saucer. Hey, this deck actually runs Pokemon Catcher. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Switch, Poke Kid, Hop, Dan. I'm liking this Dan. It's actually quite fun. Sonya. I'm enjoying Sonya a lot. I think it's a great supporter card. Props Research and then our energy cards. All right. I like it. Um, yes, because if you look at the cards, a lot of the base Pokemon are doing nothing special in the other decks. Yeah. No, I 100% agree with you, Rangers. And they need and they need the first evolution yeah 100 percent. so it does look like um this zation deck prefers going uh, prefers going second so i can get the first attack and the zombies into deck prefers going first because needs the evolutions going yeah no i 100 percent agree with you there um i think this deck wants to go second and it still would have been difficult to actually get the ko's so like jokes aside that was still a pretty pretty bad position but hey, 
Um, what happened, Stream Wolf? No, no, Stream's back. Stream should be back. Um, I, I got disconnected for a second. Chat, is it going? Am I still streaming? I'm pretty sure I'm still streaming. Um, yeah, I just got disconnected. Yeah, um, sometimes it's di just get disconnected. It's again, not a really great start hand. I don't want to be starting with a nose pass. Well, actually, I wouldn't mind starting with nose pass and see what I get. I really want to get the Padov off. Um, yeah, no, I see. I thought it was me too. No, 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 everyone, it was me. Um, unfortunately, my laptop, A, my laptop's old, so I can't actually connect to my 5G connection. So I've got to connect my normal connection, which is about 20 megs a second. Um, okay, so for those of you who aren't aware, to put this in perspective, I'm playing on a laptop, which is sometimes why it's a bit noisy. I'm playing on a laptop that I bought in 2011. Look, it was a beast of a gigabyte back then, and I'm loving this laptop. Don't take me wrong, I love my laptop. I'm stroking it right now. I know you can't see it, but I'm stroking it. This is my baby. I love my laptop. I bought this laptop in 2011. It's still working. I'm still gaming on it. So, I previously had a desktop um, that I was primarily gaming on, and I moved countries recently. Uh, in 2018, I moved to a new country, so I had to sell off, sell off my computer. So, like, to be fair, I haven't used this laptop for the last, like, three years or so. And what happened was, um, when I moved, I had to, unfortunately, sell it off. I couldn't bring my computer with me, so I brought my laptop with me. And I've mainly been, I've only been using my laptop. Hey, Ricka TVG. Uh, glad to see you back. I've only been using my laptop to game since then. Um, so yeah, I can't remember what point I was making. Uh, what was I want to do? I want to do Sonya. I want to bring him up it up. Sorry, let me make this play because I'm forgetting what I'm actually doing. And Halucha, I think I want Halucha's support. Um, what point was I making about my laptop? What point was I making about my laptop? I know I was saying something about my laptop, but I can't remember what it was. What was I saying? If anyone in the chat can actually remind me, what was I saying about my laptop? Hey everyone, welcome back. Sorry about the Twitch drop there. Um, I'm not sure what happened. It, I think it was just the disconnect. I think my net just dropped. Oh, I was talking about my laptop disconnecting the whole time. Yeah, sorry. What happened was... Um, sorry, I got completely sidetracked there. So I've got an older laptop from like 2011. And the issue is that... Um, sorry, the issue is that the connection is not so great and my router is really, really far away from my laptop. So I'm really struggling with um, just like consistency on my connection. And I've tried to arrange things that didn't really help that much. Yeah, sorry everyone. I, ho I hope you can actually get back in the back in the um, view again on Twitch. I don't know where I, where I, where I want to put this energy. I think I want to put it on Pro Pass. And I want to Poke Kid this turn. And I want to bring in my Unpheasant. Cool. Thanks for coming back, Ricky TVG. I really appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Uh, yeah, gravitational drop. Cool, I'll get a KO next turn at least, which is decent. Um, Mary's Ghost, it's hard to play and talk with others. I feel, I feel that. Like me, when I, when I play and talk with my friends. Yeah, no, 100%, I agree with you. Sorry, like, I was on a like, complete track and I was, I need to actually get in the habit of talking during my opponent's turns, not during my turns. And, like, just discuss what I'm actually doing during my turns. And then just chat and chat with the chat. Chat with my fam! <laughs> Um, during my opponent's turns. So yeah, I'm actually against Torrential Cannon again, which I'm super excited about. This is a deck I don't see enough. Uh, so I'm really excited seeing it again. Um, this Amnesia is going to suck. I don't have to know if my opponent's going to swim or Amnesia. Okay, this, let's get Unpheasant. This is actually such a great hand, right? Because I can put this energy down there. I've got Unpheasant online now, and I can go for Prof's Research. So this is great. I like this. Um, do I want to build into... Possibly having another Unpheasant? The answer, I think, is yes. Because Padov can just bring them out. Oh, but then Padov goes down. Yeah, I didn't think that. That was a mistake. That's a dead bench slot. Yeah, that's a dead bench slot. Anyway, let's go Heavy Impact. Let's get KO. Um, yeah, so, anyway, as I was saying, like, this laptop is now... What year? We're 2020. This laptop's now 8 years old, right? So that's an 8-year-old laptop that is still performing really really well 
Unfortunately, no, I can't play a lot of the old games I was playing. Um, which is a bit unfortunate, because I, I got I wouldn't mind picking up some Total War Warhammer again. I really miss playing Total War Warhammer. Um, and unfortunately, so as I've said, I've tried. If if some of you have been watching for a while, you see I've tried doing some uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield in the past and doing some Switch gaming. And unfortunately, my laptop doesn't actually meet the minimum specs for using my capture card. Uh, which was a mistake on my side. I picked it up. I thought I met the, the specs and I didn't. Um, which was a 100% a mistake on my side. And unfortunately now... Not unfortunately, but it means I can't do my, my stream on my Switch. Which is a bit unfortunately. I have Windows XP card of 99. Ah, uh, I'm very sorry. I feel your pain. Uh, look, to be fair, I'm winning, running Windows 7. But yeah, with you running Windows XP, I feel you, my friend. Um, honestly, right now, I actually think I want to prop this hand away. I don't like this hand. And I want those energies in my discard pile. Oh, wait, I'm not running Duraludon. Sorry, I thought I was running Duraludon with this deck. Okay, um, how many per circles? I got one in my discard pile, so I can build into Meowth. And let's Great Ball, what do we get? Oh, we're getting the nose pass. Uh, I may as well take it so I don't have a draw into it later. So I have Windows XP, imagine how old it is. Yeah, I'm sorry, Kula. That's it is it's frustrating. I get you. Can you play Pokemon on it? Are you still playing Pokemon TCG on it? Or is it like a work laptop or work PC? Um so this laptop of mine is actually mainly for work. Um I do a lot of video editing on it for my uh, for my school. And obviously a lot of video editing because of YouTube and Twitch and all that. Um but yeah, this laptop was mainly for work actually. And then, oh, I'm gonna get knocked out. 110? No, I don't get knocked out. Never mind, sorry. Um, so, this laptop's mainly for work, and luckily I'm able to play. Sorry, there's something in my eye. I'm able to play Pokemon TCG on it, which is super, super cool. I'm glad I can actually play this game again. Um, so, I'm glad I can at least play it. I really appreciate that, because I like this game a lot. Um, I'm gonna get knocked out next turn, which sucks. Uh, do I don't want to preserve those boss. Not really. If I, if I drew a switch, maybe. Um, let's play rocks and paper. I'm playing steel. So rock. Ah, oh, I failed. Okay. Um, at least I can bring out unpleasant and showcase unpleasant. Um, yeah, let's go for grav drop. Uh, kill ninety nine. Yes, my games are PS six, GTA San Andreas, and Pokemon TCG, and happy quarantine. <laughs> 800, 600 is. Oh my man, I'm laughing so I feel sorry for you. Like, like I get you. I get you. Um, I downgraded from... <laughs> I, down, I downgraded from 10... I down, downgraded from 1020 to 900, so I'm feeling you as well. But yeah, no man, there's... At least you can play the games you love playing. I mean, that's actually one of the things that I appreciate. Like, I appreciate this laptop for bringing me back to Pokemon TCG. Because, I mean... This is a game I haven't played since I was a little kid. Uh, and the fact that... So it's kind of weird, like, I got back into this because I couldn't play anything else. Which is, I know, a bit of a weird one, but it's very true. Um, I'm actually going to go on Halucha because I'm scared of Pidgeot coming in and thrashing me. So this gets the KO. Um... I think this is the play, right? So I'm gonna go for speed attack. Yeah, I wanna go for speed attack and get a KO. Air Slash is gonna do. Yeah, that's what I wanna do, right? I think that's the right play. Let's hop this. Sorry, I'll actually pay attention to everyone else in a second. Let's hop this. Let's speed attack. Yeah, let's get to KO. Because I'm very scared of. Pidgeot coming in and whirlwinding and pheasant back to my hand, which takes me back quite a while, quite a way. Um, yeah, so you're playing Pez 6, GA San Andreas, and Pokemon TCG. Yeah, look, at least you've got some games to play, man. It, it makes such a difference, being able to actually enjoy what you're doing. Um, and yeah, damn, GA San Andreas, that's a game I haven't played in a long time. Jeez, yeah, that's a... When was the last time I played that? I must have played last like in primary school, elementary school. 
It's a really great game. Don't get me wrong. I'm not judging. Like, it's a really cool game. Um, yeah, man. At least you're enjoying yourself. That's what matters. That's what it really comes down to, is that you're able to actually enjoy it. And to me, that's what gaming is. It's just having fun. It doesn't matter what you're playing. It doesn't matter how you're playing. It's having fun. Um, do I want a Poke Kid? I actually do want a Poke Kid to bring up my other run Pheasant. Hey, it's exactly the next card that was there. Okay, so let's bring on Pheasant down. Uh, let's see. Okay, I can go for Grav Drop. Just put some damage on my opponent. It'll be a two turn KO. Not too bad. Um, let's see. What do I want to do next? So, Pro Pass is actually quite nice. Just for one energy. Just for one energy, this Pro Pass is actually really, really cool. Shit, my opponent is fishing hard for their Blastoise. Um, all you have to do is follow the damn train, CJ. <laughs> yes, Red Joker 100, 100%, my friend. <laughs> oh, I hated that mission. <laughs> I think that's like one of the most infamous, I want to say, quests in gaming. <laughs> because of how difficult it is. Oh man, you bring back traumatic memories right there. <laughs> Hey, we picked up a Winnerization deck. I'm happy with that. Against Torrential Cannon, which was quite fun. Why is everyone, like, not judging, but I'm seeing a lot more Torrential Cannon these days, which is, which is really, really cool. I like that. Um, <laughs> Ranger's Ghost. I see all of us are old GTA San Andreas fans. I enjoy that. I appreciate that. <laughs> Alright, heading up to Laser Focus. Let's see how this goes. Um, the thing is, back home I got a really good gaming PC, like 1070 with i7. But I got a working holiday in New Zealand. Oh, that's super cool. We'd like to go first. No, I want to go second. What is this rubbish? Got a working holiday in New Zealand? That's super cool. But here I am now without a PC, but better than my but better than in my country. Yeah, no, I hear you, my friend. Um, so I suppose you want to do I'm gonna go go for meow or nose pass. Let me show Oh no, 100 percent we go nose pass because I've got Pro Pass right there. Uh, I was considering going Meowth for Home Claws into Slash. But the fact that I've got a Pro Pass, 100% that makes more sense. Because I've only got one energy and I only need one energy. Um, yeah, no, that's really cool. Working Holiday in New Zealand, that's really, really cool. Oh, I'm getting weakness damage. Sorry, I'm getting weakness damage off, which is quite nice. So let's get that down there. Oh, let's Great Ball. What do we get from Great Ball? I'm not Meowth and I got a Tranquil. Um, Tranquil is the only one that makes sense, I guess. Let's bring out Tranquil. Unfortunately, I don't have a Pedav, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, yeah, let's get some damage off the tackle. Okay. Yeah, so working hard in New Zealand, and here I am now without a PC, but better than my in my country. Yeah, no, I hear you, QL99. Um, the same thing, actually. Well, I'm in a very similar boat with you. Um, I've moved to another country for work and yeah I'm I'm the same boat as you like I left a lot behind and I'm sure you agree with me here it's very difficult leaving your family and friends behind and like just your usual stuff like my gaming PC as well which was really unfortunate having to sell I had to sell mine off before I came here to buy my air ticket which sucked um, and on top of that like I left my Warhammer collection I had to start a new Warhammer collection here and I sell off an army as well, which is like part of selling your soul, <laughs> which really sucked. So yeah, moving countries is really hard. Um, but the fact that you say that you're better, you're better off now than in your home country, I'm really glad to hear that. And it makes a difference. It makes, like, I feel like it makes the move make sense. Um, so I'm glad it worked out for you, my friend. Um, it's, it's good hearing that because it's very difficult moving countries. And I'm glad that you moved and that you're feeling better. Are you happy there? Like, are you happy in New Zealand? Like, I've heard it's a bit expensive, but the at least you're earning more, as far as I understand. Let me know, how are you doing? Because a friend of mine actually immigrated, I think, two years ago to New Zealand, and she's loving it. She's doing graphic design and photography. Um, so, yeah, I'm really glad to hear that you're doing it. Okay, so, grab, grab drop. I'm going to deal about 40 damage with this next attack, which is not enough for the KO. Um, but I think I do want that evolution. Just as a bit, make sure I stay around a bit more. So I think, let me go for that. It's not going to get me a KO, but hey. Um, 
Yeah, I may as well charge up this pro pass. And yeah, let me get nose pass on the bench in case I get another pro pass going. Let's get this graph drop going. Okay. Um. So, um, Rangers Ghost, they play torrential cannons because Relentless Flame is making them mad. I get you, my friend. Torrential Cannon is a very good counter for Relentless Flame. I find Unseen Depths for me is a bit more successful. Um, not that Torrential Cannon is a bad deck, Don't I'm not saying that. But I'm finding that Unseen Depths are more reliably shutting down Relentless Flame. Are you using Torrential Cannon more? I know you're a big fan of Rangers Ghost. Um, are you... so? Uh, Rangers Ghost, I know you play a lot of Torrential Cannon. Are you finding Torrential Cannon is doing better in the current meta than Unseen Depths? Um, if I get destroyed by Relentless Flame 2, I can switch to Kyogre. Oh, okay. So you're, you're playing both of them, uh, both of them then. Um, okay, let me know which one, you, which one are you finding more effective? Unseen Depths or um, Torrential Cannon? Like, to me, I'm finding Unseen Depths is a lot more reliable. Because it matches up against the other decks better as well. Um, these draws are terrible. I desperately need a draw card right now. Let's grab drop this. Let's go from there. Um, they each have a girlfriend lol. <laughs> yeah, I won't lie. It's, it's helped keep me sane during this time. Uh, I definitely appreciate it. I love my girlfriend. She's awesome. Um, yeah, no. Uh, let's. I don't know what else there, there is more to say about that. So yeah. Definitely happy about that. <laughs> I definitely got lucky. Don't know how I got so lucky. Um, yeah. Anyway. Um, Unseen Depths. Yeah, I, I agree that Unseen Depths is better. Oh, my phone, my phone actually yielded. Sorry, it looks like I had really bad draws, which is unfortunate. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to get a dork now. Um, Unseen Depths. It, I think it is a better deck and it does match up better. Uh, I don't even... I don't even bought it. Torrential Cannon? I thought you had Torrential Cannon! You keep like shouting out Torrential Cannon, Torrential Cannon. It is you, isn't it, Ranger's Ghost? I thought you had Torrential Cannon. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Yeah, okay, yeah, no. I agree Unseen Depths is better. I just thought you had Torrential Cannon. Oh, uh, okay. I think Who am I thinking of that played Torrential Cannon so much? It's a quad 99 that was playing Torrential Cannon. Um, oh, it's quad 99. Sorry, Rangers Ghost. My bad. I also got growled on every time. Yes, sorry, Rangers Ghost. You're the Towering Heights fan. Okay. So, Towering Heights. This is the perfect time to talk about it. The reason to, I don't play... I, okay, I don't play Towering Heights that much. And one of the reasons for that is I get super, super frustrated with it. And the reason I get super, super frustrated with it, right... Is because I always match up against Soaring Storm. And every single time I match up against it, this happens. My opponent gets um, Tornadus online and they just wreck my face. And it drives me crazy. Like, I love Towering Height and it's a great deck. But I get so, so unlucky with it. Ah, oh, man. God, I, I mean, I miss everything and everyone locked. Okay, sorry, I'll read your message in a second. Um... Ooh, I'm considering pokey catching just to slow this down. I want to slow this down. I don't want to... Oh, I, I don't like where I'm sitting right now. Um, the thing is, these have such low retreat costs as well. Pro pass doesn't get, get an easy KO here. Uh, quickly, chat. Per circa, is it two or three energies? If you can respond really, really quickly. Per circa's claw attack, is it two or three energies? Does anyone remember? I can't remember if it's two or three energies. It's three energies. Okay, cool. Thank you so much, Ranger's Ghost. Okay, I'm not going to search for the Perserker then. I'm going to search for... I'm going to go into Pro Pass then. Okay, I do have both those. Um, oh, I could have just looked at it while I was doing Pokekid. Anyway, thank you so much, Ranger's Ghost. I really appreciate you helping out. Um, I don't know why I didn't just look. <laughs> uh, sorry, guys. Okay. Sorry, fam. Sorry fam, I'm getting there, I promise, I'm getting there. Sorry fam, no guys, fam. Okay, uh, let's chirp. What do I get? Uh, what do I mean, what do I get? I'm getting, no, I'm not getting Pada, I'm getting Tranquil, and I'm getting Unpheasant. Cool. Um, yeah, anyway, sorry, Quad 99. I mean, I miss everything and everyone a lot. 
I'm from Argentina and things weren't going okay. So I made a huge effort and moved here with my girlfriend. It's been a year and I still don't get used uh, used on how everyone lives here, but yeah. In an economy way and feeling secure, it's a thousand years difference. Yeah, I hear you. Um, I, I definitely know where you're coming from. It's... Sometimes that move, as difficult as it is, it's it makes the world of difference. It really does. So I'm really glad you're happy there. Um, that quality of life change... I, yeah, I 100% agree with you, my friend. Um, as difficult as that choice is, it is definitely sometimes the right thing to do. And I'm really glad it's going well for you. It's it's so, so difficult. Um, so it's, it's good to hear that you're doing well. Um, I like from Argentina, that's really cool. I don't actually know anyone from Argentina. What? Dragonite already? Oh, come on. Um, yeah, I'm glad you put in the effort. I think it's definitely worth it. And you moved across to your girlfriend. Hey, ditto. It's it's nice. I I must say, and let me know if you feel the same thing. It helps a lot moving across with my girlfriend. Um, because at least, I want to say you're taking some of that family with you. I found it helped, it helped me a lot. Um, and I'm pretty sure it helped for you as well, because at least you're going across, you're going across with that familiarity, um, with that regularity from your old life. Um, oh, you've been there for a year already, nice. Uh, I still don't get used on how everyone lives here, but yeah, yeah, it can be very difficult, like the different cultures in different countries, it's very different. Um, so yeah, it's that like culture shock of getting used to everything. Um, but in an economy way and feeling secure a thousand years difference. Yeah, no, I hear you. I'm, I'm really, like, I can't, like, I'm super happy for you, my friend, that it's actually going well and that you're enjoying it. Um, sometimes change is necessary. Sometimes change is very necessary. And I just realized now I'm building Unpheasant into a lightning top deck and I'm going to get absolutely thrashed by it. Yeah, I've lost this game. Uh, it's okay. I'm enjoy. I'm really enjoying sitting here chatting with everyone. So thanks so much for everyone who's coming through on Twitch. Um, I'm really enjoying sitting here chatting with everyone. Uh, these are really terrible draws. What is happening? Let's go for Daunt. So I'm presuming Daunt is not going to block 50 damage, right? Because I'm presuming it only hit like the Tornadas. Yeah, it doesn't affect Thunderous. Um, no, I was talking about Garden every time, my favorite deck. Hey, don't turn down my baby cannon. No, I'm not turning down baby cannon. I just think that, like, Unseen Depth is better. <laughs> um, Torrential Cannon's a cool deck, and, like, the energy acceleration is awesome. Um, but I, I do feel that, um, I do feel that Unseen Depths is better overall. Which is also why I ranked it higher on the previous top 10 I did. Um, yeah, it's, just, it's a bit more reliable. Um, I've, I've lost this game so hard. I don't know why I built into Unpheasant against Thunderous. Like, I was not paying attention to this game. Um, let's get this... Yeah, let's get this Purse Circle online and see if I can get lucky. Um, I, I don't know how this game's gonna go, but I'm pretty sure I've lost this one. Um, yeah, French Ghost laughing. You mean the triple coin attack? Don't even try, my friend. So... Do I have another option other than Perserka right now? Because me being the idiot I, I am, I built into Unpheasant against Soaring Storm. Why didn't I get this lucky when I play Soaring Storm? Um, yeah, so me being the genius that I am, I built into Unpheasant into this deck, which was a huge error on my side. Um, so at the moment, as bad as my luck is, I don't think I have an option. Look, the thing is, I'm not actually going to get it off, unfortunately. Um, because I'm going to be one energy short, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, realization. I'm going to, like, I'm, I'll try and hold on, but I don't, I don't think I can do anything at the moment. I think this game is pretty closed. Let's get that down. Let's go for Slash. Yeah, unfortunately, I messed this game up. I bought... I built into Unpheasant. I don't know why. I wasn't thinking. Um, yeah. Oh no, my phone's battery is gonna die, so I get to go. Uh, I gotta go. Cheers, Ricky TVG. Thanks so much for uh, for joining. I really do appreciate it. I love chatting with everyone on Twitch. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I enjoy it quite a lot. 
So thanks so much for coming through. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed your time. Yeah, cheers, Rick at, Rick at TVG. Um, yeah, I must say, I'm, I'm digging this Twitch. I'm a Twitch more often. I was maybe try and do it more than uh, more than once a week. Let me know. Do you, does everyone want to see it? So I'm going to upload these videos to YouTube as well. Because uh, I know, like, right now I've got, like, four viewers. Um, so I know the majority of people are watching on YouTube, which is fine. I'm happy with that. And I'm definitely not stopping YouTube. Um, but what was I saying? Oh, uh, let me know if you want to see more Twitch streams. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it during the week. I guess I could do the same time. So the thing is us, I guess I could do it during the same time during the week. Let me know. Do you want, do you want to see more Twitch streaming? I'm really enjoying sitting and chatting to everyone. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to be able to do Sunday. Sundays are, are pretty bad days for me. Because, well, not bad days. They're really great days. Um, but I try and spend my Sunday with my girlfriend. And we actually often play board games with her family. Um, via the internet. Um, and I also spend my Sundays editing videos. So I don't really want to stream on Sunday. But during the week, maybe? Um... Yeah, let me know. Does anyone want to? Uh, does anyone want to do, do this anymore? I don't want to see more streams. You started at twelve today. I mean, what time is it now? So it's. I started at twelve GMT. Um. I'm pretty sure I started at twelve GMT. I'm trying to think of the times now because. So, um, obviously I'm not at GMT zero. Uh, so I need to work it out quickly. Give me one second. I started streaming at, yeah, I started streaming at GMT's uh, 1200 hours. So, yeah, does this time work for you? I could do, I could do this every, I could do this on a regular basis during the week. So I started streaming at GMT 1200 hours. It is now GMT, um, it is now GMT 147. So. Basically, quarter, quarter, quarter to two in the morning, GMT. Um, so yeah, I've been streaming for the last hour and forty-seven minutes. So let me know, does this does this timing work for you on Twitch? Uh, I'll be keen to do this more often. I know this is really unfortunate for the European time zones, um, like the European and African time zones. This doesn't work. So maybe I don't know. Let me know. What does everyone think? Because I'd be keen to do more Twitch, but I need to find a time that works. Um, honestly, I think I, I think GMT twelve hundred hours in the morning is the only time I could really do it during the week. Uh, weekends, on Saturdays I could play around a bit. Saturdays I could do like thirteen hundred hours GMT. Um, yeah, on a Saturday I could do thirteen hundred hours GMT if that's better. I don't want to stream for more than once a day. I don't think. Uh, it just, it takes a bit out of my weekends, and I do also need to chill, like, as relaxing as it is sitting, playing games, and chatting to everyone, I need that time to, like, just vegetate on the couch and catch up on my series. Um, yeah, let me know. And yeah, for those watching on YouTube as well, please leave a comment. If you want to watch Twitch, what time GMT works for you, and what days during the week? I'll be quite keen setting up a more regular Twitch um like schedule so please if you're watching on, if you watch this video on youtube and you want to watch me on twitch i'm definitely keen to get it going let me know what days and what hours work best for everyone and i'll try and do a consensus monday to friday it'll have to be gmt 1200 hours um unfortunately it's just it's the only time i have um and on saturdays on Saturdays, I can basically do any time. Sunday, I'm not going to stream. Um, Sunday for me is family day. It's a day to chill and relax. So Sunday, I won't be streaming. 100% I won't be streaming on Sunday. Saturday, I can do any time. And Monday to Friday, I can do 1200 hours GMT. So let me know if that works for everyone. Um, yeah, I'll be I'm really keen to get this going a bit more. Okay, so let's see what we get. That was actually a pretty good draw. Let's great ball this. See what else we get before you start using. Oh, wow. This is... I can get a second line of Pidav going. This is actually really cool. I can get a second line of Pidav going. Um, 
I'm considering how Lucha. I'm considering how Lucha, but I don't know if I want to get how Lucha. I want to go for Tranquil. I think I want to go for Tranquil, right? The reason for this is I can now use Chirp to basically set up another whole pit of line. So let's use Chirp. Let's bring out Pedov. Let's bring out Pheasant. I'm loving the Zacian deck for the bird Pokemon. Like, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> so the Zacian deck is a bird deck. It's a flying type deck. As, as like, that makes no sense. It's a flying type deck. Um, yeah, for me it's great. It's 13.47pm here. So yeah. Uh, I'll join for sure. Okay, that's really cool. Um, QR9's down. I'm glad it works for you. I'm happy with this time. Uh, QR9's down. I presume Monday to Friday this time won't work for you because you'll be working. Yeah, 347, you'll be working that time. Hey. So Saturday this time works for you quite well. Um, and Rangers goes, by the way, I don't know, but I'm doing well against Dragonite deck. Oh, really? Um, if they play Thunderous, I try to go aggressive and get my Thrall to hit them um, after Bench is taking damage or making him first weak with the Psychic type Pokemon who deals 30 damage that you can spread out wherever you want. Sorry, I know my many English Pokemon names. Oh no, that's chilled, um, Rangers Ghost, no worries. Um, yeah, I don't know, but I'm doing well against Dragon Attack. I'm so, yeah, I'm impressed you're doing well. I found that a very tough matchup. Um, oh, this is not looking good. My opponent's getting Snorlax online super early. Um, okay, look, I'm, I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm super excited that you're able to get that online. I'm, I'm impressed by that, well done. Um, the difficulty I find is like, even going into the Thrall, it's a two turn KO. Which is quite frustrating. Um, but yeah, no, I agree with you, I think that's the way to do it, is go into the Thrall. Um, the Psychic type Pokemon you're thinking of is Mew. The one that, with one energy, puts three damage counters onto the opponent's Pokemon. Um, yeah, so his name is Mew in English. And that's the one that also prote protects your bench. Okay, that's not a bad idea, actually. Um, going for that. Okay, let's get this here. I'm basically getting damage down. Um, I'm very worried about the Snorlax coming in. Because Snorlax is now going to be coming in hitting 430. Um, I... Oof. I wonder what opponent's going to stay in this turn for another Blessings of Fluff. Blessing of Fluff. I always say Blessings. Um, yeah, don't worry about your English, dude. Uh, I know English names and... English in the first place is difficult. And, like, English names for Pokemon, you're learning a whole new set of names. So don't feel stressed, dude. Like, I know I I get it. You're able to explain it, so there's no worries about it. Um, alright, so I like the idea of using Mew. Ah, that's what I was worried about my opponent doing. I like the idea of using Mew to spread the damage out. It's a good idea. Um, yeah, it's literally a bird deck. It is literally a bird deck. I don't know why they went for bird deckization, but hey, they did. Uh, regardless, I like it. It's interesting. Um, the frustrating thing is here, my tranquil is going down. Um, so, the re so I know that was a questionable play. My logic there was... I'm tempted to not go into Zation because I need the damage. No, this makes more sense. I wish Zation had 130 HP. Why can't I use Metal Saucer? Ah, oh, I can't use Metal Saucer on Padav. Oh man, I should have gone into Padav then. It's not going to be able to get it online quick enough. Oh, I forgot you can't use Metal Saucer on Pradav. So the reason I went for that play was I was trying to... I was wondering if my opponent would keep Eldegoss around to charge up the Thraki into Willaboom. Wow, my opponent's had a great start. I never get this lucky with Willaboom deck. But I guess that was a bit of a questionable play. I should have maybe... Uh, I should have maybe preserved that Tranquil. Or put the energy on this one instead. I think that would have been a better play. Yeah, I think that would have been a better play. I think that was a mistake on my side. 
Okay, let's go for this. Um, nose pass this game. This game is going to be really, really great. Uh, I want to go into pro pass. I'm actually considering bringing out another pro pass, honestly. Oh, both in my deck. Yeah, my other pro pass is in my deck. I'm really considering bringing out another nose pass. Um, the other option is Halucha. Actually, Halucha is quite good because I can refresh my hand. I think I might want to go into Halucha. Okay, let's get that energy there. I'm just end. Unfortunately, I'm giving away a prize card with Zation, but hey. Um, Code Lance 9. Uh, what language do you speak? I got curious about the English Pokemon names. Yeah, go for it. Um, yeah, this is going to be a bit of a tough game. Because next, coming in next is going to be unpleasant. I guess what matters here is does my opponent have the energy to charge up Rillaboom? And I really hope that answer is no. So the thing is, if they can't, 180 damage is going to one-shot my poor and pheasant. Yeah, they're going to have another energy in their hands. This is really frustrating. So my next turn, and pheasant's going to come in and get rid of Snorlax. Then my opponent's Rillaboom is going to come in and get rid of my unpheasant. My next play will have to be Pro Pass. So I'm going to be dealing 3, 6, 9, 12, dealing 130 damage, which is not bad. And my opponent won't be able to use... Oh no, they're going to Rillaboom now. Um... That's frustrating. That is very frustrating. I think this is the turn I use Halucha. So Pro Pass, Metal Saucer to get that energy on Pro Pass. The other energy on. Oh no! Ah oh, man! <sighs> that energy was supposed to go onto Halucha. Ah oh, man! There goes that plan. I really wanted to use Halucha's Windfall. I think I need to take a break off this game. I am making too many mistakes. Ah oh, man, that was a mistake. Oh man, I can't be able to that. I needed Hard Lucha to give me a new hand. Yeah, I think I need to take a break off this game. Uh, oh no, I know this mistake. Yeah, I did this mistake again. Um, uh, could have been out here. Um, oh, Ranger's Ghost. I'm half Italian and Peruvian. Oh, cool. I speak Spanish, Italian, and German. Oh, wow. Well done, that's awesome, man. You really good languages. That's really impressive. Um, yeah, no, that was a huge mistake on my side. Ah, that's frustrating. So frustrating. Uh, and that, that was like what I think was a way to get back into this game. Okay, let's grab drop this. Next turn I'll get a... Uh, the problem is now that Snorlax will come in and knock out Unpheasant. So I actually draw into a healing potion. Um, yeah, and then I rage quit. Yeah, I don't like rage quitting. Um, but yeah, no, that was a big mistake. I seriously docked that. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm gonna sleep off that here in Italy at 4 a.m. Oh wow. Thanks so much for watching, man. It's so late.
Jeez, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it, Rangers Ghost. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad you you're here. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Um, yeah, thanks so much for, for watching from Italy. So I know when I was watching my friends, when I was watching my friends' Twitch channel, I could see where everyone was from. Do I have to enable that to see like the geolocation of everyone? I think I have to enable that, right? Does anyone know how to do that? Uh, raid, status bar, activity feed. I'm on my phone. I'm looking at my phone. So maybe I just can't see it on my phone. Huh. I think I've done it on my phone before. It's sure. Is it something I have to enable? Chat, do you know? No, no, no. On, on Twitch. On Twitch, you can check from... Um, there's a way to check what, what your, uh, where your viewers are from. Uh, like, live, who's, check, who's watching. I don't know how to do it on Twitch, I must check it out. Um, so my problem is here, I didn't get a healing potion. Hop, what do you give me? You still didn't give me a healing potion. Um, can I buy myself some time? I can buy myself some time. Okay. Let's go into the journey mail. I know just how to check the location of Yeah, I know how to do it. I know how to do it on YouTube. Um, I don't know how to do it on Twitch. I don't know if it's just something I have to enable. I don't actually want to get the KO this turn. Um because I want to buy myself some time. Because I need to get a better bench going. And I need to get a Berserker going as well. Yeah, I wonder how you do it on YouTube. Uh, on how you do it on Twitch. Just out of interest. Because like, I, I know you from Italy. You watch you from Italy. Um, yeah, that's weird. Don't know how to do it. I'll look into it for next time. Um, yeah, so the Zacian deck does seem to be a bit more of a flying type deck. Overall, though, I am happy with it. Um, I had a channel with 4.6 thousand followers. Oh, hey, well done. But then I stopped because of bad equipment. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Rangers Ghost. That sucks. Well done on the 4,600 4, followers. Uh, yeah, I hope to get there one day. Uh, what were you streaming? And why? Because of bad equipment. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's like to do another equipment. I'm sitting in a similar boat right now. As I said, I'm still sitting on my old laptop. I'm hoping stuff with work calms down so I'm able to pick up a computer someday soon. Um, and then I can actually start doing some more Switch stuff. So I really want to start streaming Switch. My friend's actually streaming on um, Sea of Thieves a lot in Subnautica. And I really, really want to join. Um, so yeah. Also, if either of you, if anyone watching enjoys Subnautica or Sea of Thieves, like shameless plug right here, check out my friend Hammer Seven Junior. I'll drop it in the chat. Um, Hammer Seven Junior. He streams a lot on Twitch, and not so much on YouTube anymore. Hammer Seven Junior. Not so much on YouTube anymore, but he does a lot, a lot on Twitch. And it's normally what I watch when I'm just chilling, eating, or relaxing. Um, he's doing a lot of Sea of Thieves and Subnautica recently. And he plays the new Modern Warfare, Warzone. He's actually the guy that got me into all of this. So yeah, if you can go give him a follow, subscribe to him on YouTube, I'd really appreciate it. Just to show some love. Um, yeah, he's the one that got me into... Um, he's the one that got me into my YouTube channel and streaming on Twitch as well. So it is actually thanks to him. So if you can go give him some love, I'd really, really appreciate it. He's not online right now, so unfortunately I can't set up a raid. Because he's actually still living in South Africa. So unfortunately, we rarely are going to be streaming at the same time. Um, but yeah, if you guys give him a, uh, give him some love, I'd really, really appreciate it. Um, I did. I'm also playing a lot in Warzone. Ah, thanks so much. Uh, I really appreciate it, Rangers Ghost. Uh, let's go for Air Slash. Yeah, thanks so much for checking out. Um, he's a good friend of mine, and he's he's actually a friend of mine from elementary and primary school. Cool. Oh, there's the Pesoka. So, let's see if I get lucky with coin flips. We all know how that's going to go. <laughs> let's see how that goes. Yeah, I really want to play Warzone. Um, I'm not, like... So, I've tried Fortnite. I, I wasn't a big fan of Fortnite. I never got into PUBG. So, the thing is, like, I had the opportunity to play it a bit on my phone. And... Like, I'm not huge into mobile gaming. Like, especially that I've now got 
Pokemon TCG on my phone. It's all I play. Um, so I didn't really get into PUBG on the computer because unfortunately when I wanted to get into it, I was on this laptop and I couldn't, I can't play it on this laptop unfortunately. Um, so I really wouldn't mind getting a PC to try out Warzone. I'm a huge Call of Duty fan. I've been playing Call of Duty for ages. I tried the mobile version out. It wasn't bad, but like I said, I'd rather be playing Pokemon. Um, so yeah, I'm keen to get a PC to try out Warzone. I've watched, like, it's looking like a pretty cool game. What do you think, Rangers Ghost? Are you enjoying it? Okay, let's see. Claw Dagger. Do I get lucky? Tails? Heads? Tails. Like I said, uh, I only de dealt a damage with it. I only needed two heads. But because it's me flipping those coins, I only got one of them. Uh, but yeah, so we are fortunate to lose this game to the Willaboom deck. Serious props to my opponent. Um... I went into this thinking that Willowbroom would have a really, really tough time against this matchup. And they did it super, super well. So Brando 10 uh, 10195, so 10995. Props to you, my friend. You played this game super, super well. You shut me down. You got your Snorlax going online. And honestly, yeah, 100%, that's exactly what I'd recommend. 100% um, what I'd recommend doing, playing as a Willowbroom deck. So thank you so much, my friend. Like, yeah, if you want to see how to play Rillaboom against the Zacian or some Zenta deck, that game right there shows you exactly how to do it. Um, I want to go pick up some booster packs. I'm, I'm in the mood for opening some of the new boosters. Um, I was playing Fortnite. That's where the subs came from. And I was trying to get professional, but it wasn't possible on my PC because of low FPS. That's why I stopped. It. Oh, shame. That sucks. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really frustrating when you don't have the equipment. Um... Yeah, I'm sorry about that, my friend. Um, I don't know. I struggled to get into Fortnite. I played it for quite a bit with one of my friends. Um, I don't know. Like, I find the learning curve of the game was really intense, which is not a bad thing. Um, but I never really got into it. The building aspect, I'm not a fan of. Like, I'll prefer, I'd rather just play like Warzone, where I just got and shoot people. I know it's really simple, but in that sense, yeah, I just preferred it. Um, but yeah, I'm really impressed with, like 4.6k views is awesome, man. Well done 4.6k subs is really awesome on Fortnite. Really well done. Um, let's see what this thing has. Pluck Yeah Time pole. That's such a sad pokey art Shame. Poor time pole So it's good. Agility. I hate that attack Magikarp. Wow, that is a fat Pikachu Wow, okay Leap out. Switch this Pokemon to one of your benched Pokemon it is virtually useless. It is virtually worthless in terms of both power and speed. It is the most weak and pathetic Pokemon in the world. I'm sorry, Magikarp. <laughs> Metatite, Yoga Shock, uh, Bronzong, Metapod, Adaptive Evolution. I really want to make an Adaptive Evolution deck. I think it would be really, really cool to play. Um, tool Scrapper, choose up two Pokemon tools attached to Pokemon and discard them. Hey, Bunnelby. Burrow, discard the top card of your opponent's deck and headbutt. Eh, very average deck so far. Hey, we got Bolt on V. It'd be great if I had a lightning type deck. Electrify, search your deck from two lightning energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon. Your bench Pokemon anywhere you like, then shuffle your deck. Bolt Storm, this attacks 30 more damage for each lightning energy attached to all of your Pokemon. That's a pretty cool Pokemon either way. Um, yeah, if I, if I bought a lightning type deck, I'd probably put it in it. Yeah, at least one has. This is true. My luck wasn't as bad as it's been in the past, so at least I got one heads. You get to go take the wins as you get them. Aplan, continuous tumble. Ah, oh, that's such a trash. Flip a coin until you get tails, which my luck would be the first one. This deck is 30 more damage for each heads. Yeah. It's not gonna happen. Reckless charge, not bad. Sphinx. Ghost has a coughing, suffocating gas. Vulpix. I love Vulpix. It's such a great card. Nugget. You can play this card only if you drew it from your deck at the beginning of your turn. Before you put it into your hand, draw three cards. That's cool. I like it. Super situational. You want, you want to make sure it's not in your opening hand, but that's really cool. Um, Skun Tank. Poison Ring. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. During your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon can't retreat. Um, yes, I'm enjoying Warzone a lot, and it's for free, so why not? Is Warzone free? I thought you had to buy it. Oh man, that makes me want to do even more. Hopefully. If, if, like I said, if work goes well, I'll be picking up a PC soon, and I can start playing it. Well, when I say soon, in a couple of months, but 
relatively soon if work goes well. I didn't realize Warframe, Warzone was free. Why did I think you had to buy it? That's really, really cool. One day, one day. Um, if you don't like building, then Warzone has to be the game. Simple to play and you, ha uh, and you have to play with a lot of strategies. Yeah, I like that. Um, I think Warzone is a game I'd enjoy a lot. Uh, and I, re I really do want to get into it. So hopefully, hopefully soon I can do it. Torment, she's one of opponent's active Pokemon's attacks during opponent's next turn, that Pokemon can't use that attack. Oh, this is a good Mopeko for early game. And Spark detects 20 damage to one of your opponents. That Torment is just awesome, just to shut down your opponents. Hey, I got a shiny Shuckle. And what else did we get? Oh, we Chandelier with Protective Glow. All of your Pokemon that have energy attached to them have no weakness. Very cool, very cool. I like it. Um, If you don't like building, oh, I read that one. Um, Ranger's, Ranger's Ghost, because if you are in the wrong place in the wrong time, you can't build like in Fortnite, you get so, so you get melted. Yeah, uh, I think, yeah, Fortnite for me, as good of a game it is, it's just, it's not for me. Um, that building aspect was just something I didn't really enjoy. Another dark type Pokemon building on Venoshock. I need to build that deck. Hey, got ourselves another Pidove, a Grubbin, got ourselves a Metatite. Hey, Rony Coley, absolutely useless. Another Electrode, which is quite cool. Heracross, push down. Your opponent switches their active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon and super powered horns 110. Pretty cool. Scoop up net. Put one of your Pokemon that isn't a Pokemon V or Pokemon GX into your hand. Ah, oh, okay. That's super cool running the Butterfree line in standard. Going for a bug type deck with scoop up net. That's really, really cool because you can basically go straight back into it with the adaptive evolution. Hey, got a foily seismitoad. Split spiral punch. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused and resonance. If your opponent's active Pokemon is confused, this attack does 120 more damage. Wow, nice. And what's our special? Ah, I just got a shiny for Galarian Farfetch'd. PS for 40 and Meteor Assault. This Pokemon can't use Meteor Assault again until it leaves the active spot. Oh, that's rubbish. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Not a fan of that at all. Um, yeah, Warzone is for free, but Modern Warfare you have to pay for. Maybe I was thinking Modern Warfare. That's really cool. I'll be keen to pick up Warzone in the future. Um, Atena, Appleton, these are all cards I have. Lombre, top entry? What's top entry? Once during your turn, if you drew this Pokemon from your deck at the beginning of your turn, and your bench isn't full, before you put it into your hand, you may put it onto your bench. Oh, that's quite cool. So it's basically if you top deck this, you can play it straight. That's very cool. Super unlikely, but super cool. Um, Pelipper, Power Cyclone. Move an energy from this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. That's actually really cool. It can be super useful. I like that. And Galarian Corsola. Cursler. Curse Drop. Put three damage counts on your opponent's active Pokemon anywhere you like. A lot of the Psychic type Pokemon seem to be going in that direction. That's quite interesting. I like it. Hey, another Bolton V. Nice. Definitely telling me to go into a Lightning type direction. Um, yeah, let's see what else we get. Nothing new here. Capricious Bucket. Search your deck for two water energy cards. Reveal them, put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Oh, I could use that, actually. That's quite cool. Horror Psychic Energy? As long as the energy attached to a Pokemon provides Psychic Energy. If the Psychic Pokemon this card is attached to is in the active spot and is damaged by an opponent's attack, put two damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. Oh, that's cool. I like that a lot. That's a very cool energy. Sorry, but I really need to sleep now. Um, enjoy the stream. It was more chatting than watching you play, but it was nice chatting more. Good night. Good night, Rangers Ghost. Thank you so, so much for coming through. I really appreciate it. I really love chatting as well. It was a lot of fun. I'm glad I got to sit and actually chat to everyone. So thanks again, Rangers Ghost. It was really, really cool for the chats. Enjoy your sleep, my friend. It's like 3, 4 in the morning there. You deserve it. Thanks so much for coming through. I really appreciate it. Growlithe. And what do we get next? Oh, I got Fable. Prankish. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may put an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon on top of their deck. That's quite cool, because it shuts down your opponent's draws as well. I like it. It's interesting. Alright, that's all of our draws. I actually think we're going to end it there as well. Um, we've been streaming for two hours now. I need some food. I'm hungry. And yeah, that is the intro. That is our first impressions of Zacian and Zamzenta. They're both really cool decks. The Zacian deck seems to be a, a bird type deck. Um, flying type deck. Um, but yeah, so Zamazenta seems to want to go first and get those evolutions going. And Zacian does look like it wants to go second and start applying a pressure to your opponent as quickly as possible. 
overall, I think these decks are both really, really cool. So yeah, to everyone who has come through onto Twitch, I really, really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, thanks so much for chatting. I really enjoy chatting. And yeah, this video, as I said, is going on YouTube. So please do like and subscribe. It helps me grow a lot. and helps me know what everyone wants to do. And yeah, please do comment down below what you think of these two new decks. I think they're very interesting. Uh, a lot of fun. I enjoy playing with them. They're fun decks. And I like that. They're a lot of fun decks. And it's a lot of fun playing them. So are they fantastic? Are they top notch? I don't know. I think I need more games with them to find out. But let me know down in the comments what you think of them. And yeah, please do uh, remember, um, if you'd like to watch me on Twitch, please do drop some times and days down below and see if I can actually sort out the schedule. So I really enjoyed sitting and chatting today. So as always, everyone, thanks so much for watching and cheers. Enjoy.